It's about uh, the crayfishes, which are uh, living in Armenia. It is called narrow, narrow clawed crayfish. The content is uh, standard. Introduction, uh, methods. <clears throat> then uh, results and discussion and I'll conclude the, the study so uh, the narrow clawed crayfish the animal that you probably well know because at least you ate it uh, this is widespread in Eastern Europe and Western Asia lives in rivers and lakes in Armenia it is uh, native, so it is not introduced, in <coughs> Arax river system. Um, it was occasionally introduced in uh, Lake Sevan in the 1980s. As you know, it is uh, actively consumed in, in Armenia. <coughs> um, for example, let me, let me give you just one example. Uh, the Texas bar that you probably will know uh, consumes about eight to nine uh, tons of cells, about eight to nine uh, tons of crayfish annually. <coughs> so, uh, also, it is well demanded in uh, other countries. So Armenia started its export in 1990s, and export increased uh, significantly. From 20 tons uh, produced in 2000, it, uh, Armenia exported more than 1,000 tons in um, 2011. <coughs> uh, all these crayfishes are, are wild catch, which means people are catching them from the nature. They are not farmed in Armenia. And um, most of the crayfishes come from Sevan. The vast majority of the crayfishes for, uh, for the market comes from Sevan. The data that was collected in uh, 2004, from 2004 to 11, suggests that uh, its industrial stock was uh, decreasing in Lake Sevan. So it decreased from 1,800 to uh, about 800 tons during this period. That was recorded. <coughs> in the same time, crayfishes are playing a very important role in lake ecosystems because um, they are uh, sort of everything eaters and uh, they consume uh, the detritus, the organic matter, widely they consume detritus, organic matter that is on the, at the bottom of the, of the legs. So um, that means that they uh, prevent decay of detritus and then uh, prevent movement of phosphorus and nitrogen to the top layer of the lake where they can be uh, they can uh, be eaten by phytoplankton and can cause uh, growth of phytoplankton in the upper layer this is important uh, thing that phytoplankton should be in balance otherwise if there is too much of that they consume the sunlight and uh, the bottom plants don't have sunlight to grow, they die and they don't produce oxygen for the animals. So, well, <clears throat> the goal of this study was to identify uh, population trends of narrow cloud crayfish in Lake Sevan to see uh, what, what would be like the population trend after 10 years. Is it uh, the pattern that we see, the, the decline that we saw? Is it um, statistically significant or not uh, if yes what w what it can be after let's say 10 years uh, what are the main co causes can we suggest some causes of that decline or not 
So um, the data was collected by uh, mainly by one of the authors of this article, uh, Noray Badalan, and was processed by Institute of uh, uh, Hydrobiology. And uh, we have uh, cooperated with that institute to help uh, in data analysis and uh, further interpretation. Data was collected in 33 sites regularly during this period <coughs> uh, at the shore of Lake Sevan. And uh, the crayfishes have been uh, sampled using capturing method. They have been captured and then released. Um, <coughs> So the data of industrial stock, like how many crayfishes of industrial size uh, occur in the lake. Uh, it was estimated in tons per annum and uh, also the data on catch rate, like how many crayfishes have been caught by uh, one uh, trap, uh, have been uh, calculated as average of captured individuals per, per uh, trap, per net box. Also, uh, we have collected the data on female fertility, like how many eggs females produce. And it is measured as a number of eggs per, uh, per female. In addition, we conducted interviews of uh, several fisheries in surroundings of Lake Sevan, uh, which are mainly uh, fishing, which are mainly capturing the crayfishes from the lake. Results show uh, the following. <coughs> uh, we have found that logarithmic regression uh, well fits uh, the existing data and uh, that the trend, declining trend of the population of uh, industrial stock of crayfishes is statistically uh, significant on a high level. Um, and also we have analyzed dynamics of the catch rate which also show declining tendency uh, again on statistically significant level so a uh, number of crayfishes per trap also declining year by year um, The, this uh, uh, pattern that catch rate is decreasing can indicate two things, two uh, possible thing, things. Uh, decline of population in general or decrease of uh, average size of the crayfishes. Why? Because traps are designed in the way so they can catch crayfishes only uh, of the market size like 10 to 12 centimeters at least the smaller crayfishes are escaping the trap mm -hmm. so uh, the decline of the catch rate can indicate decrease of average size of crayfishes so these are Also, we found that uh, female uh, fertility, number of eggs per female, was increasing at first period and then started declining. It might be a result of the following. Like, um, crayfishes were recently introduced in the Lake Sevan and uh, they started to grow and occupy all the uh, different sites. So, uh, their population began to grow. In response to that, female fertility started to grow as well. And this part can be a portion of the older trend when uh, female fertility was increasing. But then it started to respond to the some pressure when population is declining and uh, began 
began declining. Just that decline uh, was in s uh, several years late. The uh, declining trend began several years late than population decline. So, <clears throat> okay, now, what can be reasons of, uh, of that decline? Uh, such cases have been reported uh, for several uh, countries, like Turkey, Hungary, Russia, Serbia. Uh, for example, in Turkey, it is, it is still under discussion. Some scientists think that it is over-harvesting, like uh, fisheries catch more than crayfish can reproduce. Other, um, other scientists think that it might be crayfish plague. This is a disease that um, kills a uh, big number of crayfishes. It is crayfish-specific disease, fu fu fungal disease, that uh, mass killing the crayfishes. Another reason, supposed reason, was pollution. But um, crayfish plague cases were reported from Turkey, and over harvesting also was reported. So probably uh, the combination of these two caused that uh, significant decline. In Hungary, uh, the species was eliminated in, uh, in some lakes because another competitive crayfish species was introduced. And that new species uh, occupied the ecological niche, the place of the old species. <coughs> um, in Russia, the cause was, uh, for example, in Riverdon, it was water pollution. It was uh, proved that the cause was water pollution. And in Serbia, again, the crayfishes uh, declined due to introduction of uh, another crayfish species. Now, let's see what was the situation uh, in Armenia. Our interviews showed that diseases of narrow cloud crayfishes uh, have never uh, been recorded. That crayfish plague and several other uh, mass killing diseases have never been reported. The pollution level of uh, Lake Sevan by chemicals, in accordance to Ecological Monitoring Center, uh, wasn't significantly changed during this period. Like it was, uh, in not not a not a um, not a little level. It was uh, on relatively high level, and it continues staying like that. <clears throat> um, so uh, we conclude that over harvesting might be one of the main reasons of declining uh, of narrow cloud crash in Armenia. And um, why? What what can be uh, how, how it how it works? The existing approach uh, in capturing. Uh, of crayfishes. Um, it, uh, it is uh, sort of based on the following. Ministry gives some quota uh, and that quota uh, should be kept but uh, maybe lack of control can, uh, can cause the over harvesting um, because you know, it is uh, relatively uh, high, even uh, I would say that Savan National Park works uh, very well, but still they might be understaffed, so they need more people, more rangers than uh, they have at current, and they cannot control uh, all the uh, fishermen. And uh, the application of this equation uh, of the formula that we found. Uh, if we continue the trend, uh, it shows that if nothing will be changed, if nothing is changed, then uh, population of crayfishes by 2021 will decline on more than 70%. Uh, so in total, it will be uh, below than 500 tons.
So um, we, uh, as, as a conclusion, we, we have to say that there is a significant declining tendency of population of narrow cloud crayfishes at, at Lake Sevan, and uh, the most probable cause of the decline is over harvesting. And uh, in this scenario, uh, their uh, population will decline significantly, uh, more than 70% during the next uh, 17 years. And um, this uh, decline will have uh, significant economic consequences because you know, uh, uh, crayfishes uh, at current significantly uh, provide significant portion of export income to Armenia and also ecological consequences because we remove an important detritivore, the organism that eats detritus and uh, therefore uh, the consequences for the lake can be really uh, dangerous. So, that's it for, uh, for this study. Now I'm ready to answer your questions. Caught from the lake. Caught from the lake. Uh, we we don't have that data. We have data on um, industrial stock, like how many of them remain in the lake. Mm -hmm. From one side, from another side, we have a number of um, export exported crayfishes, which is. Increasing year by year. Yeah, but not, not the released. Uh, not the real is. number of the and captured. The, uh, where, uh, where, mm. where from do you have these uh, numbers which remain in the lake? Uh, these, uh, these data uh, uh, have been collected from 33 sites uh, in surroundings of Lake Sevan. Made by whom? Uh, what what is made like counting of numbers uh, Norai Badalam is uh, annually collecting that data and uh, then extrapolated to the uh, sort of suitable habitats uh, in entire lake mm -hmm. and uh, how is the fertility uh, check by counting eggs uh, per female. But um, the quantity of eggs doesn't mean uh, that all of them will develop in... Uh, uh, it, it doesn't mean that all, all of the eggs will be uh, developed. developed. In adult, yeah. uh, although it depends on the stage. Uh, when you, uh, when you uh, collect the females at the later stage, you can see I on the egg, and that means that the egg is fertile. Mm -hmm. Plus, um, non fertile eggs uh, usually have different color mm -hmm. from the fertile ones. And, um, so, uh, absolutely no farming of crayfish in Armenia? No. It's difficult, or it's just we have no culture. Okay. We have no culture because there wasn't uh, probably because there wasn't need for that. Okay. It what exists in the wild. What can be done to change the situation? Well, maybe uh, not, not maybe, but uh, uh, crayfish farming is one of the possible. Uh, methods uh, how to change the situation installation of crayfish farming this crayfish is farmed in um, 
in Russia, in Ukraine, and in some other countries. So the farming technique in general uh, exists. Mm -hmm. and How are they farmed? Kept in water reservoirs artificially? Yeah, yeah, they are making uh, big water reservoirs. And <coughs> mainly uh, it rely on the natural productivity of that water reservoir. Although uh, usually people somehow increase it, its productivity, for example, add fertilizers or add some food artificially. This is one of the main techniques for uh, farming of this crayfish species. Is it possible to add fertilizers not in reservoirs but in Lake Ceylon itself to help the situation? Uh, well, you can add the fertilizers, but the issue is not that. Issue is they are caught more than they can than they can reproduce themselves. There is no uh, issue with lack of nutrients which are flowing into Lake Sevan. All the uh, villages and towns in surroundings are uh, and uh, agricultural fields which are fertilized artificially and rainwater washes down the, uh, those fertilizers. These are sources uh, of organic uh, nutrients. But crayfishes, because they have a uh, slow growing rate, for example, the crayfish are mar of market size. In nature, uh, it reaches that size in uh, four years. So, um, it is that issue. They don't uh, grow, uh, they, they don't have chances to grow enough. Mm -hmm. And you also talked about the boxes and the size of the net. So, are you sure everybody catches? Exactly with that size. Man. Well, yes, because uh, this is uh, not not because this is uh, humane method, and people are thinking about this uh, humane method, but because um, it is labor intensive to uh, take the crayfishes out of the box and to sort them. So it is much easier to make the box of appropriate size because anyway you are going to release those small crayfishes mm -hmm. they are you, you cannot sell them yeah but we can see on market very small ones no small ones uh, like this yes uh, starting from 10 centimeters mm -hmm. they are uh, of market size mm -hmm. and you also talked about uh, introduced uh, crayfish species in other countries. Yeah, which we don't have. Uh, uh, why were they introduced? Just for farming, for market? Or well, in. Uh, it was the same in species in different countries, no? In 20th uh, century, uh, people didn't think before introduction of uh, some species to another place. That, that was usual thing. Yeah, but why it was done? Usually, done? usually for uh, like increasing of uh, of the species which then can be harvested. Mm -hmm. That uh, that was the reason. That's why um, rainbow trout was introduced in Australia and New Zealand and North America, etc. Not rainbow, sorry, brown trout. Mm -hmm. Is the um, quantity the same on all of the shores of Seven? No, there are some uh, differences because some places are uh, crayfishes uh, like some places more than the others. So it depends on the bottom, uh, on the uh, steepness of the bottom, on the cover, etc. Number of uh, potential hides which they like very much. But the food quantity is more or less the same? 
uh, and harvesting just so. this is the the question that I, uh, I I don't know the answer is uh, most probably yes because relatively mm -hmm. uh, the organic matter is more or less uniformly distributed of course with some local differences mm -hmm. And what crayfishes eat like to leave? Sorry? And what crayfishes eat? They um, they eat that detritus, the organic matter. Uh, invertebrates, which are uh, leave at the bottom. Uh, and water plants. Uh, often they eat uh, uh, dead uh, animals at the bottom, like dead, dead fishes, etc. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they even able to catch, uh, like, uh, seek fishes or tadpoles, mm -hmm. but this is not usual thing for them. Are there any other species who hurt the crayfishes or eat them? Yes, uh, of course. Uh, <coughs> most of, uh, not uh, of course, but uh, some of the heron species. Uh, heron is the water bird with the long legs and long bill. They are able to catch fish, uh, crayfish when they come close to the uh, shore. Um, some some fishes, some predatory fishes, are reported as uh, enemies of as enemies of uh, crayfishes, like the eel. Eel is the long fish that looks like snake. Uh, but uh, those fishes are not living in Armenia. No, they don't exist in Armenia. And the herons can eat them with their firm color. Yeah, yeah, they have strong bill and they cannot swallow them but they can take parts of it uh, sometimes uh, gulls are able to catch them etc. Mm. so Yeah, welcome.